I'm Jeff Probst, host and executive producer of Survivor, and this is my Take 5. One actor who I think would make an amazing Survivor player is Neil Patrick Harris. Yeah, that's great. Can we get going? I'm bored as back here. He's a super fan of the show, so he knows the history. He knows how to play. And he's got so many social skills. He's funny. No! He can be dramatic. I wanted to help. He's likable. That's why I'm paying for your meal. He can host anything, and he's a magician. Maybe he could make an idol appear. Was that the four of hearts? Yes, it was the four of hearts! But I've thought about celebrity editions of Survivor for years, and that's a guy who could actually do it and potentially win the game. High five. If I'm on a deserted island, it's gonna be Sopranos. You're here. If I can hear the theme song, I can see me dancing in the sand. I could hear Tony breathing, usually while he's eating. Mm -hmm. I'd grab a couple of coconuts and uh, find some shade and wait for Tony to give the word to whack somebody. All right, all right, nobody's making threats. Of all the years of Sopranos, there's still one scene that haunts me, and it's when they're taking Adriana, Drea, out into the woods to kill her. It's one of the most riveting sequences because you know what's happening, and yet somehow you're hoping maybe it won't, that someone will intervene, but no, and that's why it's so good, because when somebody's gotta get whacked, they gotta go. Let me just say how sorry I am for your loss. My favorite TV host from the past is Tom Snyder. He hosted this show called Tomorrow. He had this big head of gray hair. He had these big meaty sideburns. He would often smoke. He had this big laugh. <laughs> <laughs> he would laugh at his own jokes, but he did the most compelling interviews. I mm -hmm. watch the show all the time. Thank you. Mm. Because he didn't seem to care what people wanted to know about. He just cared what he wanted to know about. And through that really specific interview, you learned the whole world. We'll continue after these words from our sponsors. Please stay tuned. I think my favorite current host would have to be Jimmy Fallon, mainly because he has me on his show. <laughs> this is great, this is great. He gives me lots of fun survivor ideas. That was one of my better ideas. That was a good one. I had some weird ones. And if you're gonna complain about something about Fallon, it's gonna be that he's too nice, that he likes everything. And I'm okay with that being the number one criticism about somebody. You, my friend, are the glue that keeps that show oh, together. thanks. If you're gonna watch a movie to prepare for Survivor, don't watch Hunger Games. Do you understand? Watch the original, Running Man. Arnold Schwarzenegger was this guy who'd committed a crime, and his options were he could either take the sentence or he could appear on primetime television in the biggest show in the world called Running Man. Sensational, perfect contestant, I want him. And they would let him loose into this world in which everybody is literally trying to kill him, and if he can survive, then he goes free. I'll be back. That's Survivor. Everybody is trying to kill you, and if you can survive, you win. You're called bladder <laughs> Season 40 is going to be the best season we've ever done because of the 20 people we brought back. Survivor is still a game about real people, so you're watching real people that you've invested in over the years play this very complicated game of human poker. In a season of all winners, how about two million dollars? <laughs> and there's bragging rights, and when you put all that together, it pushes the humanity because they're driven by so many things like adrenaline and wanting to make their families proud and wanting the two million dollars. It forces people to do things that maybe are in their best interest and maybe not. Survivor's ready. Go! This season is off the charts good. You can catch Survivor Winners at War Wednesday nights at 8 on CBS. <laughs> <laughs>